Bro, you family, what's up? Today on Passport Kings, I'm gonna count down the top 10 cities with the country's most beautiful women. Engage. Alright, so just like my world's most beautiful women countdown, I have to warn you, this is not an etiquette or cooperation countdown. This is only about beauty. This is strictly a beauty contest. If any of these women want world peace or to save hungry puppies, this countdown doesn't care. But on that same note, if these chicks are unbearable to talk to or unbearable to live with, but they are fine in the face and sex appeal department, they will get high marks as well. You know why? Because some beauty is only surface deep. One more thing, this would be my opinion. And if you don't like it, make your own list. Put it in the comment section below. I'd love to read it and dispute it if I don't like what you put on there. But anyway, watch this quick commercial break and I'll be right back with the top 10 movies. How would you like to stay in spectacular beach houses the next time you travel? Forget about expensive hotels, become a house sitter. This episode of Passport Kings is brought to you by The House Carers. Use the link in the description and be matched up with your desired locations today. Now that that's out the way, here's your top 10 winners list of the US states, country's most beautiful women. Number 10 is Phoenix. I know I'm no longer a spring chicken, but girls that are ready to grow up and settle down for some reason are drawn to this city. I guess that movie Waiting to an Exhale was an unconscious advertisement to those women's brains. I guess it was telling them if you're older and you're having man issues, this is the city you want to be in. But the good thing is, black don't crack. So if you're looking for a grown and sexy woman who's all attention whored out, this city is where you'll find them. Here's number nine, New Orleans. Go to any restaurant in New Orleans and you'll quickly find out that this place has some of the ugliest waitresses in the world. But when you join the festivals that take place almost every day and you start meeting the women who aren't in the menial positions, you'll run across some great shaped Creole chicks that'll knock your socks off with their shape and their facial beauty. The skin color mix of these broads is magnificent, but just make sure if you talk to them, make sure they're not wearing Jordans. That's a sign that this new cute chick might be a beauty and a beast. Number eight is Tampa, Florida. When you get off the plane in Tampa, you don't know what to expect. Surrounding that airport is a mess. But as you get deeper in that city, the houses and the scenery become much nicer to look at, and so does the women. Their hourglass shapes and pretty faces look like they were sculpted by the sun, and it look like they was cleansed by all that rain they get. Those chicks in Tampa, they just have like a pretty clean look. Now here's number seven, New York City. Listen, I grew up in New York City. And yes, it's very hard to ignore those rough attitudes, their potty mouths, and very masculine traits. Being half man and half dude is pretty hard to ignore. But like I said, this is a beauty contest. And to make things worse, there's hundreds of thousands of chicks in New York that act all rough and masculine, and they're not even that good to look at. But in the midst of that cloud, of that competition of who is the toughest chick in the world, you'll find some gems sprinkled amongst them. And when you find a New York chick that is pretty and got her stuff together, they're hard to beat. And there's some really pretty girls in New York City. Number six is Charlotte. Charlotte of this decade is what Atlanta used to be back in the 90s if you subtract the baggy clothes and the Brana Brothers hairstyles. If TLC and the girls that looked like them back in the days would have put on tighter clothes and show more feminine traits, that's what you have right now in Charlotte. That sums up Charlotte of today. Girls is fly. And here's number five. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna do my honorable mentions right now so you won't be waiting for them to come up because they don't deserve this. They don't deserve to be in this top 10. But maybe 11 through 15. Oakland got some fly chicks, Chicago got some fly chicks, and Orlando, yes, Orlando got some fly chicks. But they didn't make it on this list. Here's your top five countdown. Coming in at number five is Inglewood, California. There must have been something in the water in California back when they used to have water. 
that made the correct mixture for these chicks. These women are not thick, but they are gorgeous. Ethnic mixing and sunny California weather has put together some of the most aesthetically pleasing on their eyes chicks that you will ever find. The girls are shapely, they're pretty, they have nice hair, beautiful skin, nice teeth, all of that. But just watch the color palette of your shirt if you're going to visit one of them chicks. That could be your last day on earth. And here's number four, Houston. Beyonce Knowles and Kelly Rowland came from Houston. I'll rest my case. Here's number three. Number three is Miami. Yeah, Miami has become really ratchet in the recent years, but you can still find those dimes in this Atlantic Ocean of seahorses. When you do, she's from head to all ten toes pretty. They love to dress up for the weather, and they are very sexy when they do it. And of course, number two, Atlanta. Pretty chicks sprout up like weeds in Atlanta. Yeah, the recent reality shows have polluted their brains with grandeur lately, but when they're dressed up for upscale parties, especially when they think that some rapper or athlete is gonna come and save them from their financial woes, they put together a look that is superb. Yeah, a lot of it's fake, but it's very attractive to the average man. It's too bad that a lot of times the celebrities are not as awestruck as they would have liked them to be because they are pretty, but unfortunately the celebrities, they wipe up chicks in the number one spot. And number one is Los Angeles, California. All of the pretty girls from all of the other states in the United States, they all bunch together in Los Angeles, California. They move out there a lot of times to become actresses and whatever the hell else they do in California all day long. But they stay thin and they stay classic looking. When they get surgery, it's usually of human proportions instead of those fun house mirror looking surgeries that these girls be getting in Atlanta. And when they get dressed up to go out for the night, these chicks are unmatched by any other girls in any other states in the United States of America. All right, so that's my countdown. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Passport Kings. Remember to check me out every week for a new episode of Passport Kings. If you have anything to add to this subject, post it below. I may even answer your question and send you a free gift on an upcoming episode. Remember to follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, join my BM Travel Facebook group. All the links are below. And more importantly, come to my website. You'll get the latest info on upcoming parties and events and travel. So check this out. Since I grew up in the 90s, I had like a different description in my head of what thick means. And there's a real big difference between thick and fat. Fat is not healthy according to your BMI, your body mass index. So dudes, do us a favor and don't encounter girls that are going through that little fat struggle right now and tell them that they're thick. Tell her to have standards. She sees the shape of the boys that she liked, what they look like. Tell her to aspire to be greater, aspire to be sexier. You should bring sexy back. If you're the man in that woman's life, encourage her to beat that weight problem. It is a problem. You're her leader. Inspire her like a king, a passport king. I'm out, peace. Here's number five. You, you know what? And here's number five. Matter of fact, I'm gonna um. And here's number five. You know what? Matter of fact, I'm gonna do my honorable mentions right now, so you know that they're not coming in the what I was showing y'all before. That's the other area. So it's like I'm on a little island, man. And I'm telling y'all there's only one way to do it. But the way I know to do it, start right there. It's out there, good. It's to be a king, a passport king. Yeah, thanks for checking me out, y'all. And here's number five. And here's number five. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do my um.